liberal candidate for Hamilton East Stony Creek, Bob Bertina, is celebrating with family and friends at Michelli's Family Bakery following his victory. Bertina's campaign manager, Jesse Shea, spoke on the matter. The political system at Hamilton was broken. We didn't have good representation, provincially or federally. And Bob was a refreshing change. Shea also commented on what it was like to work on Bertina's campaign. Knowing where we started at the beginning of this campaign and the, the, the challenges that we had, especially trying to defeat an incumbent, to where we are now is just the most exhilarating experience I've ever had in my life. And 50, 60 years down the road, after this is all said and done, and I'm looking back on political memories of, of things I used to do, this will probably be one of the best experiences I ever had. Sharing in his campaign manager's excitement, Bettina had this to say. Well, I'm just as proud as I can be because, um, you know, I have been the mayor of the city. Good things happen. Uh, we now have a Hamilton East Stony Creek voice in the federal government. When asked about his plans moving forward, Bertina said this. Well, my particular areas of interest are uh, growing the economy, growing business, and transport. Those are all built into the platform. So. It, it's, it's really caring about people again, rather than worried about presenting a balanced budget. Bettina defeated NDP incumbent Wayne Marsden by collecting 39% of the votes. I was always confident that we could return a liberal flag to Hamilton East Stony Creek. It was liberal when I was a young man, and uh, we're, there were good times. And I knew that even though the NDP had held the riding for the last three elections, that there was still strong potential liberal support, and I think we proved that tonight. His seat contributes to Justin Trudeau's liberal majority. For Mohawk College Journalism, I'm Nick Burney.